branches eligible to appear for Microsoft's intern hiring process were CAC, MNC and all the circuital branches. And the eligibility criteria set in terms of GPA was 8. But there can be instances where GPA based sorting is done to break ties in coding rounds while shortlisting uh, candidates for interviews. It is not essential to have a very good GPA but it is always advisable to maintain a good GPA. I was selected for the position of software engineer. The selection process was basically divided into two, first being the coding round and followed by a series of interviews for the candidates shortlisted to the coding. The coding round was conducted on metal platform and had three questions which had to be solved within a period of 90 minutes. On the basis of one's performance in the coding round, around 40 students were shortlisted for the interview. And the interview series consisted of three rounds. The first two rounds were purely technical and the third included some HR-based questions. Talking about my preparation strategy, I used to give contests on Code Forces and Code Chef regularly from the start of my fourth semester. Later on, I also started giving contests on other platforms like AdCoder, AdCoder and LeadCode. And for learning concepts of DSA and uh, other things, I used to refer to uh, Hacker Earth, uh, CP Algorithms articles, which were uh, very detailed. And I and some uh, video lectures on YouTube channels also helped me clear my concept. You surely face intense competition in each step of the selection process because everyone wishes to get an intern at a good company and sometimes small mistakes might take you out of the race and luck too plays a factor in such situations, which isn't in one's control. Apart from this, in shortlisting candidates for interviews, there can be GPA-based sorting. So basically, one should be good in coding and important computer science subjects, have good projects in one of the development fields, and above that also needs to maintain a decent GPA. All of them are time consuming and this is why uh, bagging an internship, uh, internship becomes challenging. My project basically had two primary goals. First being the implementation of a feature in one of their products which would, uh, which would be released in near future and, uh, and the other being POC of a long term solution for that feature and uh, which would be included in later versions of that product. The tech stack I had to work with and the language that I had to code in were uh, pretty new to me. So this was challenging but at the same time exciting. So I got to learn a lot of new things which I think is the best part as you get to learn stuff which is relevant in the industry and also get to know about the strategy and process that needs to be carried out in order to make your code production ready. So in a very short span of time, you learn a lot of new and relevant things. One also gets to network with many individuals having a bulk of experience. The number would be even higher in case of an on-campus experience, but never mind. So despite being a bit challenging, uh, despite being a bit challenging, it was uh, it was an enriching and an insightful experience. The work culture at Microsoft is pretty amazing according to me. There is a flex schedule and apart from attending meets, uh, no one asks you about uh, when and how long you are working, as long as you are able to do uh, all the tasks on time. There is a lot of emphasis on growth mindset and inclusion too. The people there are really friendly and supportive who are always ready to help you out in case you get stuck. It is a place, uh, it seems to be a place uh, where you, uh, where your innovative inputs are appreciated and your ideas are welcome. First of all, rather than concentrating on getting a PPO, one should be more focused on delivering one's best to achieve all the goals of the project. This might, so, uh, this might sound cliche, but if you do so, you will definitely have an edge in the PPO process. For achieving this, uh, you should get involved in frequent discussions about the goals and work done uh, by you uh, with your mentors and managers. 
uh, there should never be an expectation mismatch between you and your manager and mentors you should uh, you should also try to bring in new ideas and methods to solve the problem uh, to solve the problem at hand and ask relevant questions wherever required communicating your thought process and the work done by you in a proper manner can definitely give you an edge in securing a ppo one major mistake uh, that students commit is not focusing on soft skills communicating your thoughts in a right manner is as much important as solving a coding question so uh, in my view equal importance must be given to developing good communication skills too apart from this uh, often students ignore gpa and land up being ineligible for a company most companies keep a certain eligibility bar and if you do not cross it you will be inel- uh, ineligible despite being a good candidate one other thing uh, students take for granted is making good projects and also preparation of some topics like operating system system design etc these topics are uh, not much time consuming but are taken lightly the biggest problem is the difference between what is taught in the institute and what is relevant in the industry i feel there should be more focus on industry relevant topics and technologies apart from the subjects being taught in the institute curriculum if this is done it will definitely uh, serve uh, to bridge the gap between what the institute focuses on and what is actually required in the industry and this will uh, definitely make the students more prepared for the industry there are a lot of takeaways from my internship experience at microsoft as i had mentioned earlier i got to learn new industry relevant tech stack about best practices while coding and developing production ready code and uh, i can surely say that the experience uh, i gained by working here definitely evolved me as a software developer and apart from this uh, having a good network is always good and i had ample opportunity to network with interns and executives working not only in india but in other parts of the world too i would like to give a couple of advices firstly it is very important to uh, remain calm and confident throughout the process throughout the intern hiring process especially in the interviews and this will surely reflect in one's performance in the interview rather than thinking about what will happen if i screw up uh, one should be optimistic about giving uh, one's best during the interviews giving mock interviews on uh, uh, available platforms can definitely help in getting an idea about how the interview process actually looks like the master tip to crack any interview is to keep interacting with the inter- interviewer and thinking aloud so that the interviewer uh, gets to know your approach finally i would like to say that keep believing in oneself it is only it is only you who can limit your potential so if you keep working hard and continue to have faith in you despite the setbacks that come your way uh, you will definitely achieve laurels in life and whether you get an internship or not keep hustling and keep improving your skills